Welcome to the Folktale Project, this is Dan Scholes. This week we have three, well, actually four, stories from the Chinese fairy book. Because these tales, unlike the stories from Andrew Lang's Blue Fairy book, are much, much shorter in general. And so today, we have a single story. This is a tale... That tells, well, a little bit of old-fashioned sexism, but a lot of brothers-in-law ribbing each other. This is The Three Rhymesters. Once there were three daughters in a family. The oldest one married a physician. The second one married a magistrate, but the third who was more than usually intelligent and a clever talker, married a farmer. Now it chanced once upon a time that their parents were celebrating a birthday. So the three daughters came together with their husbands to wish them long life and happiness. The parents-in-law prepared a meal for their three sons-in-law and put the birthday wine on the table. But the oldest son, who knew that the third one had not attended school, wanted to embarrass him. It is far too tiresome, said he, just to sit here drinking. Let us have a drinking game. Each of us must invent a verse, one that rhymes and makes sense on the words in the sky, on the earth, at the table, in the room. And whoever cannot do so must empty three glasses as a punishment. All the company were satisfied. Only the third son-in-law felt embarrassed and insisted on leaving. But the guests would not let him go and obliged him to keep his seat. Then the oldest son-in-law began. I will make a start with my verse, here it is. In the sky the phoenix proudly flies. On the earth the lambkin tamely lies. At the table, through an ancient book I wade, In the room I softly call the maid. And the second one continued, And I say, In the sky the turtle dove flies round, On the earth the ox paws up the ground. At the table one studies the deeds of yore, In the room the maid, she sweeps the floor. But the third son-in-law stuttered and found nothing to say. And when all of them insisted, he broke out in rough tones of voice. In the sky flies a leaden bullet. On the earth stalks a tiger beast. On the table lies a pair of scissors. In the room I call the stable boy. The other two sons-in-law clapped their hands and began to laugh loudly. Why, the four lines do not rhyme at all, said they. And besides, they do not make sense. A leaden bullet is no bird. The stable boy does his work outside. Would you call him into the room? Nonetheless, it's nonsense, nonsense, drink. Yet before they had finished speaking, the third daughter raised the curtain of the women's room and stepped out. She was angry, yet she could not suppress a smile. So how do our lines not make sense? said she. Listen a moment, and I'll explain them to you. In the sky, our leaden bullet would shoot your phoenix and your turtle dove. On the earth, our tiger beast will devour your sheep and your ox. On the table, the pair of scissors will cut up all your old books. And finally, in the room, well, the stable boy can marry your maid. Then the oldest son-in-law said, Well scolded, sister-in-law, you know how to talk. If you were a man, you would have had your degree long ago. And, as a punishment, we will empty our three glasses. And that is the story of the three rhymesters. Brothers-in-law trying to gang up on a third over a drinking game. This is Dan Scholes for the Folktale Project. Don't forget that you can subscribe to the podcast on Apple Podcasts. Spotify, anywhere that you like to get your podcasts. You can follow us on Instagram and threads at Folktale Project. If you'd like to help support the project, you can head over to patreon.com slash folktale project. Or you could always just share with the stories with someone you love. I do appreciate that. 
As always, thank you so much for listening. <laughs>